Hi everybody, I'm Jared, and here's some great ways to dominate with guild style in Monster Hunter Generations. Capcom has introduced four hunting styles to the series with Monster Hunter Generations, giving you new ways to customize your character. Guild style is all about the fundamentals and serves as the traditional pick for the game. If this isn't your first hunt, you'll feel right at home. You see, Guild is a very versatile and well-rounded style that's very similar to how Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate played. You're free to pick any weapon, go ahead and choose your favorite like the hammer against the Great Macau, and you won't have any issues. But for beginners, since this style is a jack of all trades, I recommend the Sword and Shield. Now here's where things get interesting. On top of your style, Monster Hunter Generations also allows you to choose hunting arts. Guild lets you pick two total, a good middle ground of sweet special moves, which may be offensive attacks, buffs for you and your friends, and even evasive maneuvers. To charge them up with guild style, it's all about dealing damage to monsters. I'd recommend going with one offensive art and one defensive to begin. Early on, the round force attack art is great for slicing creatures surrounding you. And on defense, absolute evasion is fantastic for dodging a charging beast, even sheathing your weapon for you so you can immediately drink a mega potion if needed. But more options will open up. Every weapon has specific ones in addition to general use arts. So once you get more comfortable, experiment and see what you like best. Now these are our tips for guild style, but what advice do you have for hunters? Let them know in the comments below. And for more on Monster Hunter Generations, you're already in the right place. IGN.